G'day guys, welcome to Africa, a very wide and relatively flat map, but deceivingly flat as there's a lot of small elevations. And we're here at match two for Team North versus Uprising, also known as 5TA, Mr. Pringles as Commonwealth, and Thompson as Soviets, and Tedessa, Italy, and Koenigs Tiger as Finland. Going to Elite Marksman spot, Markman Jaeger straight down to the center, and he is going to meet up. Thompson on the other end, on the right, Tedessa will meet up Pringles, but he's going to get to the flag sooner as it's close to him. But Thompson is doing a nice spread, Marksman Jaeger is doing okay, but struggling to get good shots off. A fairly decent range and Thompson has a nice spread on the left flank and also the right. A very deceptive hill as well over here, preventing the shots uh, being that effective. As in the western we see an engagement by Tedessa, Tedessa with a nice grenade perhaps. Misses the one, and probably misses, no, doesn't miss that one, takes out, oh no, doesn't take anyone, but here comes the 80 grenade from Tedessa, that <laughs> takes out five, even when they want to try to return the favor, a, a big amount of losses in the progress, four guys down, now it's uh, going to the favor of Pringles in the shootout for some reason with the Stens, even though it's, it's a worse SMG than the map, 338A, Pringles going to try to return the favor, they're controlling this one guy. Unfortunately, the grenades aren't being cooked well. And a lot of micro being spent right now with the Dessa running. Pringles throwing the grenade, all to take out one guy. Rather excessive micro engagement there. Uh, probably not much else to micro at this stage of the game, so fair enough. Center Militiaman, second buy from Mr. Pringles, trying to get the numbers on Tedessa. They're already in the assault squad on that point, so it'd be a bit hard to dess up. Infesting the ruins. Nice grenade from him. Pringles forcing to micro the grenade with the militias. And route out to dess up. So it looks like in the center, Thompson has managed to defeat the elite marksman. And there goes that last Jaeger squad guy. And now he's relegated to the back of the center. So the east. This fire guy, this map, I guess it's it's small. West, the flanks are at the start definitely going to go to the their respective sides. It's much closer to spawn. The center is the only one that is kind of sticking out between both of the teams at the same distance. I mean, so MG sandbags, here comes Tedessa, sorry, a Katana Steiger starting to build his sandbag line. 5TA known for their defensive lines. Pringle still trying to work in, has made some progress in the ruins. Tedessa as well fighting back. Some more single buys, even tank crew from Thompson. Maybe just for some line of sight. There is a big assault from Kona Steiger. Also building some sandbags just directly on the top of the uh, elevated part of this hill. We'll be able to provide some good firepower. Bit of a staging ground to cap and quite, and quite you can quite easily sneak on each side of the map to sneak your cap and throw grenades where these guys can't fire at you, but this guy, this flag, or this sandbag cover is actually probably more useful. The Thompson does have a big line of MGs and etc. Even some red guards, or Spetsnaz as well. Wow, nice. Interesting buy on this map. But here comes a BA-20 from Konex Tiger. A Finland Live Vicarass, easy put away. Expected from Thompson, 80 rifle from the boy, uh, boys kind. No, it's the Soviet kind, sorry, it's the 4.5 PTRS. Takes out the BA-20, unfortunately that rush uh, failed quite spectacularly. Kananda, 47 mil, best light, light 80 gun in the game, has a decent, I'm not sure about this position to be honest, it's just aiming straight at this flag and blocked by a lot of cover and also this hill, it could pretty much only fire here. Interesting position so far, Tedessa definitely taking the advantage though. Moving up his troops, trying to get some more uh, of the map. And pushing up forward will allow him to scout to see what's coming. Sniper. Looks like the commander sniper has been bought. The veteran sniper from the Italians. Start to do some work. Thompson going to try a flank with some riflemen. He's going to come in really fast. He's got two of them. Grenades loaded. Sniper able to relocate quite easily though. Uh, still building his... Uh, going to build some more sandbags perhaps. Some more riflemen coming in. You know, Thompson now as well being flanked by Tedessa, so his adventure into the Axis territory is definitely short-lived. 
Sniper now relocating at the other end. More MGs. We got the Black Watch out from from uh, Thompson. That's a, wow, that's an early Commonwealth. Commonwealth, the normal M4A4 Sherman by Interesting. And using its 50, 50 cal, HE shells now. Tezdessa, Assault Squad going to the gully, trying to run away. Uh, AT gun not going to be used versus a heavy, or sorry, medium tank. As Imperial, not Imperial, Team North do hold the center quite strong. Sherman just uh, sitting back, playing safe, just using its AT shells, not doing too much damage. Black watch out for Mr. Pringles and Militia as well. Tedessa. I'm gonna try and micro some grenades in. Good luck at this stage. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The Black Watch. Sherman coming onto the western point. That should be able to push some of these guys off. Going up the hill. counter do we have here? We've got an N, not a counter to the Sherman, they're going to ignore it for now. But perhaps uh, it may go for a shot because the, the side's turn. We're going to try to track it, the awkward position. Pringles moving. Oh, nice HE shell, takes out four. Decent combo by Tedessa. 3.7, no, 4.7, and, and the Panzer N. Now trying to take out a track shot perhaps. Sherman, I don't think he has a shot, it's aiming towards the area, but. Uh, yeah, it does notice and he's falling back. A battle for the center and ruins it seems so far. Nice shot. Sniper is still doing its work very slowly. Slowly but steadily. T60 Thompson combo with the Sherman coming in onto the western point. Let's see what can happen here. They've got the 4.7 which probably won't reveal itself until it takes out the T60. Interesting how uh, Tedessa was just aiming his AT gun there. Was probably expecting assault to the gully, perhaps. But now has to relocate to find the T60. He's firing away on the far, far western point. It's going to take a while to get there. Its range isn't that long, about 110. And for Sherman, still sitting up quite confidently. Without much infantry in front even, it's just going nuts, it's going straight for it for some reason, what's going on here? Panzer Shrek, easy put away, maybe a bit of lag or something, that was definitely not uh, what Pringles usually does. Charging a, a medium tank without any cover, especially into such dangerous territory and Panzer, Panzer Shrek uh, territory. Panzer end for a shot, misses, AT gun is still too far away. Just waiting a bit lot more, uh, for, forcing the Panzer N to do the work. T60 given to Pringles, who is still evading the AP shells of the Panzer N. Pringles you know, charging his infantry in. Most of Tedessa's infantry has been wiped out by the T60 already. The reinforcements are coming in and may be able to stop this assault. <coughs> Oh, T60 finally gets a lucky break and takes out the track of the T60. So, we'll get destroyed. Oh, eventually, and does spectacular with a nice explosion. As that uh, tire disappears into the sand. And wow, nice pressure play by Koenig Steiger. Uh, Thompson has uh, kind of... was wasting his energies on the western point. And now, punishing him, Koenig Steiger's coming up. Guard Sniper may be in jeopardy if he... If Konstantin wants to send the full reserve squad there, Sniper does notice a bit of danger, there's no one else guarding him, he's going to waltz back a bit, maybe use the stone or rock as cover. Well here comes a half track from Pringles, uh, relocated AT gun is not here to be seen, but wow, the Sniper, did that? No, it's not the Sniper, that was a 20mm by Tiger has put away that half track, Commandos I'm going to try and cap that flag. The center will go to Team North for a bit. 27 to 11. Uprising us clawing back into this game with the majority of flags. There's a sniper. Can't see uh, Thompson's sniper. Perhaps it died. It probably was counter sniped by White Death. Aha, nice. It's got his sights in the center. What do we have here? 
Ooh, sneaky. The Svetsnaz. Haha, <laughs> he's got through. He's gonna bite. Um, <clears throat> bite 5 TA, oh, sorry, Team North. On the ass. Flamethrower as well from Kinnick Stiger. MP1. Does some good work behind the hill. Flames the guy's capping it, which allows now the SMG guy to get the flag. Nope, not really. Probably just a bit too high up the hill. And Zach's out for Mr. Pringles. Usual UK Commonwealth play, just getting the infantry points out. Blackwatch, Anzacs, Blackwatch, Blackwatch, etc. Just trying to get the numbers on the axis, though it is quite deep in the game in 5TA. Uh, I think uh, at that stage where they've held the spam quite well already, um, I don't think it's broken them at all. So you get, you get the stage where it doesn't break you. Um, the spam will definitely become less and less effective as the game goes on, especially versus the lines of 5TA now. One squad will not, one squad of specials will not make a difference now. They're even winning, the Axis are even winning this engagement. Um, interesting to see the Axis win both engagements. European players, I don't know if uh, you guys noticed, European AS2 styles, it's more cautious. More played by the book, play by numbers, and I guess you can call it smarter, <laughs> in a way. Uh, and it kind of suits the Axis play, defensive, yeah, more defensive in nature, where the American and Australian ones are pressure and spam, it suits a bit of micro, but pretty much it's non-stop assaulting and attacking, which suits the Allies. Well, you can see the Axis uh, being used very well by these European teams. Relying on those uh, set, piece, set piece engagements to win uh, based on counters. Panzer N pounding away on the field, trying to get some juicy machine gun kills. Militiamen from Pringles just sending some more line of sight fodder. <clears throat> it's an interesting buy though, the Firefly. <laughs> versus Italy <clears throat> and uh, Finland, I don't know, not too sure. And it's good to see that uh, that unit's being bought yes, uh, in the World at War mod. How do you see that in default at all in tournaments? I don't notice it has that uh, little, I don't know what do you call that, some <coughs> white, uh, arc, white little uh, arcs on the waves on the touch. Oh God, I mean. Firing its uh, 50 cal into the center point. <laughs> AD gun now relocating once again. So trying to consolidate the position. T60 on the assault squad. I'm going to try to stop this uh, other assault on this flag. Let's look at the, how much elevation, small elevation changes in Africa. It makes it very interesting to fight. 20 mil has moved a bit more to the left and now is safe from the Firefly and is going to put <laughs> put those assault squads to sleep and pressuring stills uh, Koenig Stoker and the specimen at the back here is still looking for a juicy target and just waiting for which one what will it choose? It won't choose the end, the end's not too expensive it probably wants to go for something bigger like the Italian tank destroyer if that's being bought probably not, as, uh, he's already bought the, the end T60 tracked by the AT gun. Oh, nice. Takes it to the T60. That's just the Bofors. Okay, it's the Bofors, not the... Not the 4.7. Sherman. Uh, Sherman Firefly not doing too well at this stage. Hasn't uh, made an impact yet. Hasn't been able to counter. Very awkward shot to make with that little hill. Perhaps going to try it as Bofors now. And does okay that time. Got a bit of a backboard there, that uh, little rock, that big rock in fact. Oh, White Death is even in danger too, two birds with one stone, we can get it. It's not noticed yet. Oh, it is now running away. And still, still struggling. <clears throat> Let's take a look. Crusader AA, 
from Mr. Pringles. Firefly combo, let's see what it can do. Not even bothering countering that Firefly uh, 5TA. There's no real need right now, they're definitely dictating the infantry engagements and also the flags. And Firefly has proven to be powerless to do anything at this stage. Just really awkward shots to make for just a straight shooting non-arc fire tank vehicle. Crusade AA. Oh no. As soon as I say something bad about the Firefly, it always seems to happen. If I just talk, say, yeah, it always proved me wrong. Don't know why. Crusade AA. Now moving to the left, gonna try to retake this point perhaps. Just need to put away that uh, 20mm. Uh, Tedesa can even really push up even more if he really wishes. That's a nasty hill to take right here. To ambush the spawn. Totally cut off the flag. And yeah, really consolidate the position over here. Flamethrower from Tedesa doing work in the center. Has been taken out by one of the Black Watch Lewis guns. Assault Jaeger. Comes the take back from Pringles and Thompson. Partisans with the Crusader. Crusader just decrewing the Bofors. And now potentially will focus now on the flak. And now it's time for his infantry perhaps to come in. Gonna try and make sure the main gun's destroyed. Flak being crewed once again. Uh, Pringles needs to focus back on top flak. And now maybe a potential charge with Thompson coming in with the Bofors. On the Bofors. Finishes it off. Eight. Oh, Molotov, interesting. <laughs> Molotovs can't hurt it. Guess he thought it was an AT grenade. Another follow up here from Thompson. Good teamwork by Pringles and Thompson. And this eight grenade will put it away, perhaps. Oof, there you go. Nice follow up, and they secure their eastern point. And now should focus on flags. 57 to 27, a considerable lead by Uprising with an awkward uh, tank destroyer. Um, facing but Firefly, boom, just turns around, whack. Takes out the Firefly whose only job was to, was taking out that uh, 4.7 I believe so far. Um, one of the best Italian vehicles in the game. Simavente M41, one of my favorite ones. Not great armor as you can see, but at uh, 140 range, 88 penetration. Will take out any medium tank and most medium heavies frontally at maximum range. Just obviously the heavy tanks that will struggle at frontally, but at 750 MP, it's a decently priced bargain. Obviously, if it's a bargain, it's decently priced for the buyer, not for the enemy though. Gonna do some good work in the future, I think. White Death definitely racking up the kills now, not being countered by by uh, Team North. Panzer N also racking up the kills I believe. But wow, look at White Death work. 46 score, 40 infantry kills so far. Just being positioned well, not being not being counted is the main thing. Quite easily counted too as it doesn't have a scope. But if you don't counter it, it's just gonna do so much damage. Look at that, jeez. What's that, uh, now it's, <laughs> this is bam bam. There's no SPGs uh, really being bought by Team Team North, but here is the... Wow, you, you saved... Oh no, that's not the shock. Is it the shock? What's this? What are these guys? Yeah, this, this is the... Eight, oh, okay, he gave, it to, gave one to Thompson. So he's got the... Shock troops, two T-3485s. Comes quite early in the mod. And comes with some shock troops on the tank. Thompson not using his, but looks like Pringles would use his to get the east and potentially try to flank some units, but here is Tedesa's <clears throat> Simovente, cannot penetrate, misses the first shot, ooh, Pringles needs to angle it well, oh, one shot takes out the 85, he was moving forward unfortunately, uh, this, oh, this tank destroyer is a beauty, isn't it, just wrecks that 85 at maximum range, a medium heavy tank, was angled angled perfectly by Pringles too. I think I think because it's moving forward as well, it kind of accentuated the penetration. Yes, Don't quote me on that, but uh, I find that the case. I don't know if that's true. Um, if it's that detailed, 
When I move forward my tanks, it seems to get penetrated more easily. Obviously. I would um, assume. That makes sense. I probably should ask Pringles. Pringles is, uh, is a physics student, so he would know that occurs in real life. Thompson for a shot misses. Uh, Panzer N. <laughs> Still trying to do work? Well, I don't know what's happening here. It's uh, 71 to 27. Wow, major score uh, for Koenigsteiger, kill count wise. Pringles struggling to, to get on the scoreboard uh, this, this game. And that's that uh, tank destroy without a name, but definitely <laughs> making the Koenigsteiger score stick out like a sore thumb. Pringles Crusader being repaired. 20 minutes in, 28 to 71. They are capping the majority of flat, oh not anymore. Koenigsteiger has taken the East and Southern. Uh, playing, playing a game of putting out fires, Team North. Struggling to really take a point. Point back. Shock infantry. Koenigsteiger coming in. Shit, any anti grenades? No. Oh, wow, nasty. Has taken out a lot of troops. Only a few guys left. <laughs> Koenigsteiger following up with an assault squad on the eastern point. With the lands work. Now finishing it off with the 80 grenade of the Finnish kind just bounces off and blows off far away. Needs to be cooked. Dynamite instead, perhaps from Koenigsteiger. Let's take a look. No, not gonna do it. Is that the White Death? No, it's not. It looks like White. They all look the same. I think the Finnish guys need to put new skins on it. Wow, nice Crusader A shot on the side of the Landsberg. Uh, kills its baby brother Landsberg. Crusader A is the king of the 40mm vehicles. Definitely. Puts away the baby Landsberg 40M. Tedessa moving away. Uh, this White Death is uh, angry at this tank for making him top score. They're both clashing. The two alphas of the Finnish team. Wow, definitely racking up the kills for Finland. Tedessa with a shot. Boom! Puts it away. Wow, so accurate, so good. What the? Did Tedessa get. What this? No? Oh, is it given to the two by. Sorry, what's going on here? Oh, okay, Tedessa gave it to Koenigsteiger, and Koenigsteiger gave it back to Tedessa. And now it's appearing twice on the board. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. Hmm, okay. Some sort of bug, I think. Body Jaegers. Oh, what's this? Piat. Bam! Takes out the tank destroyer. Very nicely done, but not completely down, so it can be taken out. So it can be repaired. Uh, definitely a priority target to take out. Pringles with his uh, AA still uh, being. St uh, is tracked. But still alive. Panzer N. This is the shot. Boom. Doing decent work as well, this Panzer N. Third score and pretty much hasn't been counted the whole game. options it really really a game of uh, killing <laughs> 5ta wearing down the enemy just winning all the combat engagements the start though well pressured by team north being able to um, assault the western point and hold the center for most of the time t60 from Thompson just nothing much to back him up and nothing else to take at the tank destroyer yet Probably out of MP. 
No. <laughs> Just looking at Tedessa's MP, look at that. Jeez, 1,700 MP. Oh man, he can buy anything he wants. There isn't much to buy in Italy with that expensive. The most expensive unit is an artillery piece. <laughs> By another one of these tank destroyers if he wishes. Centre being decrewed by Thompson and trying to take out the T60. T60 is running away wisely. Arty supply. <laughs> Tedessa's N has uh, ran, a, ran a of HG shells and looks like he's going to try resupply it now. Another Landswerk from Koenigsteiger. There's the baby Crusader AA. Oh, the Crusader is down, so it looks like he's got to reign with this Landswerk. Got Pringles now with, uh, oh. This is a full on mechanized squad. Not gonna do well versus the Landswerk, unfortunately. It's gonna, 40 millimeter might just, oh, this is painful the way, oh, good, 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 good. He's got his guys out, at least, and it doesn't matter too much if this dies. And there you go. It was expected. Now they do get out. A few guys with the Piats and AT rifles here. Here comes the Piat guy. Well, let's see what he can do. Not spotted yet. It's going to start sneaking. Now going to go for the run. Ooh. Oh, what? He tried it. He wanted to try it. Oh, to kill that guy first, but already reinforcements the tawny detachments over here. Oh no, he's got the tawny! The massive amount of uh, infantry. Elite infantry with snipers. Oh no, this is this is the time if you can save for the tawny all this time. You're gonna do well now. It's now gonna be pushback time for Axis. Looks like he's gonna be wiped off his point very soon. Bam. Semavente. That's the one that was soon repaired. Still got a good 1,500 MP up his sleeve. Seems like a slow death really for Team North. <clears throat> Still being able to annoyingly cap the center, but how long can they delay the inevitable? This is what it uh, seems like. Landsvek should well, I could probably just go what's up now, do some more damage. Oh, Crusader is up, I think. <clears throat> T34 is being repaired. <laughs> now it's going to reload the AT gun. Let's see how this goes. Lightning squad on the right. Sorry guys, just had a phone call. Oh. I see the push coming up. Looking very strong, uh, 5T on this game. Uh, funny funny to see Axis doing so well in the last two games. I guess it's just European AS2. We've seen allies do very well with uh, Australians and Americans, but another story with the European teams who have proved to be uh, the top tier in the, 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 I guess the better, the better side of AS2 in the last, uh, half year or so. Let's see, Europeans have been winning the last few tournaments, so I'm not going to argue with their style. It's definitely a big change the last, the last, uh, three or four years ago where it's always been the pressure style that's been the best style. Koenigsteiger. We'll finish off the tank. T60 left. And for Sherman in the backfield. K 
Kevy 85 from Thompson. Ooh, it can withstand. The shot Kevy 85 does have enough armor, if angled correctly, to withstand that tank destroyer. Uh, they kind of need a miracle right now, struggling to hold on all fronts. They're losing their east and southern point. Center has been lost as well. Just one flag remaining. Now let's see if, the ma if magic can happen. Thompson. A lot of weaponry focused on this one area. And Team North are just responding. Even actually running back, they just don't have infantry. He's afraid right now. Pringles has a Sherman. KVI from Thompson, just no infantry right now to to push forward. Thompson doesn't want to risk it. This is a fair call. 4.7 has been pushed up a bit more. Going to try to take out the T60. Just single infantry <laughs> seems like is that all they can afford right now. Coming onto the east and to just hold on to deal life. Boom! Tank destroyer <laughs> makes an appearance. Takes out the Sherman. T60 I think is also no, it's still alive, but KV85 is definitely going to go hunting for it. But Tedessa definitely playing smart, not going to go toe to toe with the KV85 and only come out when needed. Landsberg going to move across into the KV85 has moved to the uh, uh, southern eastern. Landsberg is now open up an assault route this way. Look at the coordination by these guys. Team, uh, team. Uprising looking strong. There goes the Kananda. Thompson and the T60 now pushing up. Let's see this engagement. Tedessa pushing back again. He knows he knows this battle is not going to go in his favor. One on one with the KV85. That's a decent buy from Thompson. Maybe a bit too late though. 91 to 29. Uh, looks like they may not hold this point. They've got elite troops of the 20 detachment outside and these tank crew plus an SMG guy will have no chance of going to get slaughtered. One guy left. Tank commander has been perished. And it's going to be a, another flag in their favor. T60 has been taken out as well. Landsberg shot and destroyed on the turret, I believe. And whilst the ha happening, 5T8, Tedessa tries a sneaky shot and gets the track on the KV-85. But uh, now goes to the safety below that hill. KV-85 is not angled though, so I think it could potentially get destroyed. If, uh, don't uh, quote me, is 80 armor or 100? What's 180 on the turret? Huh. It's been a long time since I played uh, with the KV-85. Uh, center has been Decapped. It was. Uh, no, it's, yeah, it's going back to Axis. 97.29, and they're going to hold this point. And there's only one flag left, so it's going to be a team uprisings game. Fairly slow grind. Um, decent attack by Team North at the very start. Sorry, it's going to be uprisings game. <clears throat> but then slowly whittling away at the forces, winning all the engagements. It seems white death. And the tank destroyer proving to be the key. And the Panzerin as well proving to be the key. Winning all the fights. Uh, just not buying the counter until the KV-85. Good game, guys. Well done to Uprising. I'm going to see a first to win two. So this resets the series of the first to win two. Uh, I've been told that the rules now have changed to make it the fifth game is where they'll have to play the decider if the first to, first to win a series of two does not decide this. GG's.